Hey guys, Keegan here, and in today's video, I am going to be playing, as you could probably tell by the title, Fortnite. So yeah, I'm, I just loaded in now. I haven't played it all today, but, you know, I mentioned in my first ever Fortnite video that I kind of wanted to do a tiny bit more, whoops, than just normal Fortnite, because it's probably getting a tiny bit boring watching me play the same games over and over and over again. So, I'm just gonna get this little thing out of the way. Item shop. What's new? Ooh, demon skins. It's kinda random. Take a seat, I kinda want that. Okay. Okay, so, in today's video, guys, I wanted to do a hard death run, because as you guys may know, I think I mentioned it in that first video, my favorite levels to play are death runs. So, not a lot of you guys probably just want to watch me play death runs, but there really isn't any new updates in. So, all I would be doing is just playing a few games, and I've been wanting to do a death run for YouTube for a while now. But, I haven't really ever had the time. So, yeah. Oh, actually, this video can just be a whole big thing about me going through this map and then doing a death run. Because, there's always like a little secret thing within these maps. In the event, co-op games. That sounds really fun. You can get up here, which is probably where the secret is. <laughs> it's fitting. It's basically like a little death run to get up here. I think I can do this jump. Okay. I feel like there's an invisible wall there. I might be wrong. Maybe you can only do it on this side? No. Hmm. I wonder what the secret thing is. I always love trying to find the little secrets in these maps. Because they're always really fun to do. I'm up here. Oh no, lag. And decently hiking. And that's the creator's thingies. <laughs> oh, here it is. Check the bottom. Okay, so. I definitely need to press something somewhere to get the thing started. I don't know where. What's this? Aqua Drift Race? That sounds pretty cool. Oh, here it is. This is the start. Stay overnight. You must destroy the spider's nest. Clean all the webs from the kitchen. Okay. There's a web up there. There's a web right there, so I'm gonna start with this one. That's probably what they want you to do. So, here, to here, here, then over to here, and then you can climb up from here. Oh, first web, four remain. You clean the web from the firewood. Check the cabinet with bottles and cans. Not with bottles and cans. What does that mean? This guy's? Um. Bottle 
Bottles and cans. There. Okay. How do I get up there? I can get up to here. I can get up to here. I can go across to this table. Yeah. I can jump over this. There we go. I probably was just able to go around. And the second one, keep going. It just says keep going, so... Now I feel like I might be able to check out the one in the suitcase that we found first. Check the bottom. There we go. This isn't the bottom, this is the top! <laughs> third what? Thirth? Thirth? <laughs> Destroy the last- the two last ones to open the spider's nest. Uh-oh. What's- what's that? Oh yeah, never mind. There's two more webs. Number one is this way. I'm glad. You don't have to do too much. I'm gonna do this one that said Ford. Fourth, okay. Check the cabinet of books and find the spell against the spider. I thought I needed to go all the way back up again. I feel like I have to go even higher. Oops. I feel like I might just be able to hop up onto these, up to this, and then just jump up here. Oh. This one. The spider's nest is open. Destroy the nest. Where is it? I'm not sure if I had fallen into that. Where is the spider's nest? I like this though, it's like... Household cleaning. <laughs> has a force field! Three, four, five. destroyed the spider's nest. The kitchen is clean. Search the traveler's closet to find it to light a stove. Okay, search the traveler's closet to find it to light a stove. Show me this. A stove. Honestly, this doesn't look too much like a kitchen because I, I can't even see a stove. Like, there really isn't any like cabinets or really anything that I can see. But there is a lot of food, so maybe that's it. But to light a stove. And it's right here, guys. Nope. Where could this self-proclaimed stove be? It said, search the traveler's closet to light a stove. That could be a stove, but I just checked there. That could be a stove. Wait a minute, okay, I was about to say, can you go all the way out? Wait, I don't see a stove, guys.
Maybe I have to jump back down into it? Like, go up and then find a layer of lower, like this one. Oh, you found the matches. Good job, now you are safe and can stay overnight. Well, that's what it meant. Like earlier, it, it said you can stay overnight only if you clean out the spiders and stuff. <laughs> I get it now. I want to sleep in the stove. <laughs> My favorite place to be. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. So. I was hanging out with someone, um, a few days ago. What is this prop hunt? Well, I don't have any friends with me right now. So I saw, they showed me this, a 500 level default death run. Now, I don't want this video to just be like, 20, 10, 20 minutes, which would probably happen if I did a 100 level death run. So I wanted to make it decently long. This would probably be like an hour video. <laughs> and also this is um, being recorded at the same time as another video is being uploaded. But yeah, something I wanted to mention is that a new video will be coming out tomorrow. And hopefully, if what leaks say are true, it's gonna be an amazing one. Yeah, I love Death Runs as I've said before. <laughs> so, yeah. Time to get started. Now this is a default death run. There are themes throughout the map that changes every 10 to 20 levels. Some levels are very short since I used all 100,000 memory for the map. Wow. Um, go subscribe to Dan to your Fox. So, yeah, this already seems like it's going to be a good map. Are you subscribed to Dantier Fox on YouTube? Honestly, guys, I can sense that this is going to be a good map. So I think I'm going to go subscribe to him right now so that I can say yes to this. So I will be back in just a second, and I will probably have his link in the description. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I did subscribe to him. I will share the screen for you guys. Just so that you can see, I subscribed. And you can tell because this is um, the death one that we're doing. So this is the right channel. Also, these are some of the YouTubers that I like watching. But yeah. Go subscribe to this guy. Link to him will be in the description. So. And also, um, I want to go back to that. It says that he has a 2,000 level death run. So if this isn't too long, guys, and you want to see me do that, I would honestly be really glad to. So if, if you really want to see me do this 2,000 level death run, say it down in the comments below. I would edit that one, this, but this one probably isn't being edited because I'm already way tired, like way too tired after editing a different video for three days. So this pro probably won't be edited, really. But yeah, back to the death run. Let me just get that out the way. Are you subscribed? Yes. Thanks. Also sub to PewDiePie. <laughs> I think I'm already sub to PewDiePie. Oh, I'm pretty sure you die if you say no. <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. I just, I normally blitz through death runs, but hopefully this will be a fun one. I'll state my full opinion on it once it's over, whether I beat it or not. So yeah, this, these first few levels, 
I can already tell our forest themed. And if what all Mario games have taught me, the next few levels will be desert themed. Now, like every Mario game that I've played, World 1 is forest, world, or grasslands, or whatever, and World 2 is desert. So, if Mar what Mario games have taught me is true, the next, like, level type will be in set in the desert. I can already see volcano and either water or ice in the mini-map. And yeah. 25. Oh, we're already in the lava. 7. 8. Hopefully you guys don't get too annoyed at me saying level numbers again. I just, no I just normally mutter those off. As I go through a death run. Nope. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the lava doesn't kill you. It's pretty nice. But you have to kill yourself anyway. <laughs> okay, level 40 is going to become the water world, I'm pretty sure. Or ice. I, I'm not really able to tell fully by the minimap. Okay, it's water. Yeah. So, most likely there will be sand. But then again, there is a chance that it won't happen. Are you able to just... Okay, no, I was gonna see if you were able to just walk through the whole thing. Also, I really wanna... Get rid of those for, like, the entire video, because... It's gonna suck having to press escape every time, and no, I'm not really able to change what button to press for that to happen. And I can't change the pause button in Fortnite either. Which, both of those suck. Ooh, Rainbow World. And if it's not too hard, I'll understand, because it was titled Default Death Run. And those normally aren't really too hard. Because they're made for the entitled name of defaults. By that, I mean the names given to people who are not good at the game. Which, when it comes to normal Fortnite, I am... Did, did I just see that? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> funny, funny number. <laughs> Wait, I really don't want the panel to be showing for you guys, because it's really annoying and causes like this little bug on the screen that you guys can probably see every time it pops up, where the screen just goes completely black in a section. Ah. <sighs> But, yeah, every single time I die, I have to show it and then stop showing it. These big sections might be cut out a little bit, but I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I might struggle a little bit on that last section because the numbers flip back and forth, meaning that you have to jump right, and then left, and then right, and then left. Which is kind of annoying, and I was just trying to speedrun that, so that's mainly why I failed. But yeah, I might try this one more time, and then I might cut it out, this part out of the video. You guys will be able to tell how long I actually went for by the number at the top right, which normally starts at around 4 hours. 
or near that number. Actually, never mind. It's only three. <laughs> Oh, that one's a pretty difficult jump, honestly. I want to show a few of my failed attempts at jumps, because I know some people, they want to keep their videos short on death runs this long, so they normally cut out a lot of their failed attempts. So I'll try to show like three, I would say, for every time it takes more than that. And then, if it takes a lot more, then I just probably won't show them all. Man, that's the first time that I've really struggled, like, that I've failed twice. Well, no, I failed quite a few times on one-block jumps in the past. It feels weird. There we go. Now, something I'm going to admit is that I do strafe jumps in a really weird way. Like, if I need to gain momentum on a wall, I do it in a different way than normal. I just skip that entirely. Do this. Do this. And do this. But something I normally do for strafe jumps is because I can't really do this easily, I instead go back and then I go forward. And I'm able to do them that way, but it takes quite a few attempts because it's kind of hard to do that. So, oh, I just did this jump a little bit earlier. That was like only a minute ago, though. Okay. That was the stupidest part for me to have fallen off on. Also, again, I'm really sorry for these. Press escape to follow, to show floating reading controls, which appears, but you guys can't see it. It's just a black box for you guys. But it really sucks because, like, it kind of ruins everything. No. But like, it, it can get kind of annoying having to look at it every single time I die. Or I'm supposed to die. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I don't know why I'm struggling on this. This jump isn't really too hard. I'm just being stupid. What? sadnessnoise.mp4 as I fail this jump more and more. I just tried to make that rhyme. There you go. I don't know why I struggled so much on that. Ooh! Next section is wooden cabin, I would say. Wasn't too bad. Do this. This. This, this. Oh, okay. It, it is kind of annoying having to manually respawn because it's a bit easier to just die when the game says you die. I'm gonna try out. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna try it out with ice. I'm not able to do a straight jump like that with ice.
wish I had a feature where I just died if I went down onto the level below. Okay, level 104. Did that stupidly and i feel like we're revisiting worlds but then again i'm gonna be honest i don't think i could come up with like he said tw like every 10 to 20 it would change and there's 500 levels so go let's say he just goes by the minimum that is still 5 10 15 20 25 different worlds he'd have to make up i'm sure there would be some of the basic ones like Grassland, forest, desert, volcano, stuff like that. Beach. Um. Iceland. Stuff like that. But. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna cheat, but can I. Okay, I can't jump on these numbers. But you get so close to being able to jump over. Like, it feels like if you could just prop yourself up right here. Oh, I feel like you can cheat this. Just to see if it's possible. I want to try it out. Wow, what the? Um. Let me go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to cheat. But I feel like it might be possible. The jumps are starting to get kind of harder. By the end, there's gonna be like like 15 Neos that I have to complete. I'm honestly not too good with Neos. No, no, oh my gosh. Okay, level 119. Oh, okay. No, I like this section, because if you fall, you don't die. You just walk back to the start of this whole thing. Also, this is honestly just a really cool thing. I don't- I've- I didn't even think about space as a concept. And he did it really well, cause all of these little torch thingies act as stars. And they all shift around you as you jump, so it's all really cool. I just like the idea of being in a black void with stars around you, but far away. Cause it'd probably be very relaxing. But if you did it in real life, it'd probably get boring really quick. And then you'd need food and water and stuff. Oh, dropper! Except it- Oh no, that was just to get you back down on this level. <laughs> no! <laughs> I feel like this death run, the only, these are actually like really good levels. The only thing I could think about to improve it would be to um, add death barriers. But then again, he said he used all 100,000 bits of space, so he probably didn't have any space for it. And if he did, he probably wouldn't have had enough space for like all of them and it probably would have been weird to suddenly have to do it halfway in can i make this jump yep in death zones i like trying to find ways to do it easier but i don't necessarily like cheating the entire thing 
This one, I think you can jump up there. <gasps> we. All these walls feel like steep enough to jump off of, but they're really not. There was a checkpoint. Oh man. There we go, 145. Do a stupid thing. Don't tell me. You can 100% fall down here. Nope, you can't. Oh, you can. Kinda. Okay, yeah, you can get stuck here. I wanted to see if you could get stuck there because it, it looked like you could and you can, <laughs> so. Yeah. It's probably only a minor oversight. Especially with the size of this map, it'd probably even be hard to notice anything like that. It'd probably be a lot easier, though, to notice it if you're, like, actually playing through the whole thing all at once. Especially from the eye of an outsider, because you're most likely... Wait a minute, can I get back up? I think I might be able to get back up. Oh, it feels like I can. I don't want to die. Ah, oh, I don't think I can. Is this bush? No, if the if the bush was um physical, I could have just jumped up. But he probably knew that, so he got a non-physical bush. Yeah, this part is honestly pretty good. It's simple, but that was basically implied in the name. I'm sorry. Some annoying thing pop up. There we go. Yeah. Making it slow. I say as I do three jumps in quick succession, which I feel like might be the only way to do it. do anything no okay so i'm thinking about trying to find out if i can make f1 the button for zoom to um show meeting controls Boing. i'll try and do that the next time i die yeah i think something that he did which was very considerate is I think he tried to um, make it so that when you do there, I feel really dumb because I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, when you do speed things, he gives you infinite time on them. I'm pretty sure because something that can be annoying is if you're doing a death run and then you run out of speed, run out of time on your speed. I think he did something really considerate and actually gave you infinite time for that. <gasps> oh, I, I thought I was about to become a car. I think you're able to do the jump glitch here with traps. Yep. That's a thing with tra four traps, you can just do that. What's two plus two? It's four. Correct. Okay. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> Even though there really isn't a lot about a lot about this from that helicopter, I guess that this might be like um futuristic base. I mind I don't know. Oh 
I'm trying not to die too much because I don't want to have to keep on. Doing that. <laughs> Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Not, it's just the, the, that jump doesn't really suck, it's just the fact that I got bounced off of it. There you go. And I can just do this. 161. Oh, I love these types of levels. Oh, but it's different. Wait, did I not get a checkpoint? So you have to do that and these jumps. Oh, okay. I thought you had to do both jumps in quick succession. Like, or else you'd have to do strafe jumps or something like that, but you one of the jumps was kind of easy. Oh, okay. 163, I think. Okay. And troll trap. 164. Yeah, this is honestly pretty good. <gasps> I might be able to make it back up. Okay, I, I made it back up. I'm honestly okay about not dying if I have to sacrifice a little bit of actually every time i die i can go up to that and just jump up and hopefully die that's hopefully though it might not work i think you can cheese this section like right there i think you might be able to jump up Get this checkpoint. I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna see if you can jump up from here. You can. Okay. That's a little bit of cheese. Those rocks are a little bit cheesy. Oh no, I fell down. Wait, I didn't die. I just teleported back up here. Oh, they made this jump a little bit easier. Thank you to them for that. Oh no, guys. There's one at the very end, meaning that you could probably just skip this entire section. I'm gonna just skip this, because I can. Actually... No, I think this one is underneath it enough so that you can't jump up. Luckily, if you fail, you can just do that, so you don't have to press escape and bring up the annoying artifact boxes. Yeah, we're almost halfway there. We got 70 more levels, and then we'll be halfway there, guys. I'm gonna be honest, this is probably gonna be one of the shorter videos that I've made in my channel over the past few months. Also, no checkpoints here. Which is kind of scary. Are you making a death run with no checkpoints? Actually, no. I'm pretty sure that there are death runs with no checkpoints. Also, this level is easy. Also, this level is easy. Also, this level is easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I know, like, the little things about baiting traps. Roof traps, there's nothing really you can do about them. Unless they're asking you to fall down, in which you can just walk on down, and I'm pretty sure it won't kill you. Okay. 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 
this is the last thing for this log logging section. I don't know what the definition of it would be. But yeah. Oh, I love these little things. Dun. Send you perfectly up. We'll do these. Except they do it slower. Oh, no. Do I just not die? <sighs> For a moment, I thought he actually, um, that there were death pads here, because it had the long fall thingy. But honestly, like I said earlier, it's not really his fault for not including any of them. Oh? <gasps> okay, that was actually pretty cool. Well, this one, you just can't hit anything. Or maybe... No. Every single one of those that there are next to a checkpoint, you can cheat. And by that, I mean this. See, so I beat it, so I can just... Down here. Boop. 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 Some of this stuff I'm only saying just so that you guys watching... Can know. If you ever put anything like this in your map. Like, it kind of ruins it a little bit, but you can keep it in your map as long as, like, this is just my opinion, but you, I feel like you can keep those in your map as long as you just keep them away from areas that you need to go up, unless you want to use them to go up. Because if you don't do that, then there's a high chance that they're going to be used to just cheat your section. But that is my opinion. Yeah. I want to do it. Because I don't want to cheat and go forward. So what I really want to do is make it onto the... Fine. I'm not doing it to skip ahead a bunch of levels. I just wanted to go onto that, then go back, and then go back. Do this slowly. Really? Why? Wait, I've been wanting to make a death gun, and... Yeah. <sighs> I've started on one, but it's not good, really. Or, well, no, it's, it's, uh, it's honestly pretty okay. It's not the best death gun. Like, it doesn't have a bunch of different... areas to go through, like this one. And it doesn't have nearly as many levels. This is 500. Mine right now has 7. And I've also had a little bit of help from a friend. But yeah. Wait. I don't think it's cheating, guys. If they give you the ability to do it like this. I'm gonna go back and then do it again. Just so that I didn't necessarily cheat. Okay, I, I'm, I'm losing track of everything that I'm saying so far today. <gasps> Bathroom! This is based off of the pleasure place where you can free your mind of everything else going on in the world. You can just sit back and relax and think about the weirdest things, because that's... Because in the bathroom, that's where your mind thinks up of the weirdest things. Especially in the shower. That's why, that's why a specific Reddit page even exists. This probably really isn't going to be getting any editing. Just because I'm like really tired of doing editing for now. And also, I'm pretty sure 
I've probably been silent for quite a bit in this video. And I'm pretty sure I've been able to keep up uh, decently loud. What do I do here? I can't do this because that's way more than a one block. Oh my gosh. They, they, okay, so one thing I find annoying about that level is just because they don't imply that there's anything there. There's nothing to tell you that there's anything there. You'll only find it. Where even? Okay, it, it just stretches across to there. Okay, that just feels like a glitch, because normal invisible platforms you can just stand on. Whoops. What? This feels weird. I'm going around just... Yeah, there's more. is this? Oh, this section is honestly gonna suck a little bit, because first of all, you just can't stand on them. Second of all, if you fall, you don't die. And also, I don't even know if this is possible. There isn't even a way to tell if you're on, like, I don't even know if this is possible, guys. Because you can't jump off of that. This honestly might be an impossible death run. Because look, I'm on it. Well, you can jump off of it. So, I have an idea on how to do it. But that really sucks, because... You no, know, I might just keep the artifact up there. Just because I want to be able to easily respawn. So yeah, for a little bit, the artifact's gonna be there, guys. Probably for this entire s s section of levels. Just because I I'm pretty sure this area is based off of invisible platforms. But honestly, it just might be my game glitching. Maybe they're not invisible for everyone. That, that time it wasn't even there. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe they're not invisible for everyone. And it's just glitching out for me or something, I don't know. There we go. But yeah, I saw something to do with invisible things later in the level. Like, what? What do you do here? <gasps> okay, I feel like that is a bit of a troll. Because I don't think that there is any invisible platform here. There might be, and I might just be overthinking everything. But I feel like you have to do this jump. Like, onto here, and then... Well, that's gonna be, like, really hard. Because it's basically gonna be a strafe jump. Either that, or I'm missing something, or the game's broken. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm really quickly taking a look at the guy's, um... thing. This was made one year ago. So. I'm pretty sure they had invisible platforms back then. I might be wrong, though. Okay, here you can get to see how bad I am at strafe jumps. Because as far as I can tell, there's no other way to do this. Unless they just want you to skip to there. 
but I don't think that's what they want you to do. In fact, I don't even think you can do that. Yeah, look at this. There's there's nothing here. You can't get over here. I'm checking everywhere. So I check here. I check here. Check here. All along this, just to see if you're like meant to slide across. All along here. So yeah, I don't think... Okay. I'm just being stupid. So there's at least a tiny little thing at the very middle of the platforms. At least like right here. Okay. I don't know why I wasn't hitting that earlier. Like, I was going through it. I went through it. And you're gonna be hearing me spam space a lot, cause... That's basically... You have to let it go down to chance to see if you're gonna jump or not. I might spam slower just so that... Nope. I don't think you could do a small jump. Let's see. Nope, you can only do big jumps. So if I just spam, it should... Yeah, it's it's literally just a game of luck. You have to spam, and then see if it will work, and if it doesn't work, then boohoo. <laughs> And that is not a concept I enjoy. Because having to do something purely based off of luck isn't really fun. Unless it's a casino game in which it can kind of be fun. For most, for other people. Like slots or something can be fun for some people. Oh my gosh. I jumped, but I didn't jump in the right way, the right time. Just land on it, okay. Are you telling me? I do a baby jump off of this? Let's just see how far can I go. Okay, guys, um, I really don't get this. This doesn't seem like fun. Like, this really doesn't seem fun. I don't really think that's possible. Hmm. Maybe I can cheat this one? If I can, I'm only cheating to get to the next level. Cause that level sucks. Like I'm I'm not I'm not really gonna go easy on it because like I I don't even think that's possible because the highest jump you can do is just like half of a normal jump, maybe even less. Yeah, I don't think this is possible guys. I'm gonna try a little bit more. You guys will probably see those attempts. But then. Like, not that, because I basically know that's impossible. Okay, so I cheated it. And then I'm cheating this one, too, because it also has something to do with invisibleness. So. I'm not doing that. I'm cheat. I'm cheesing these. I'm cheesing these sets of bubbles, because I don't think anybody wants to watch me fail over and over again doing something that is pure luck <laughs> like it literally isn't skill at all unless you're able to perfectly time a frame perfect input every single time Yeah. 
Yeah, other than those few levels that had the really th the things where you had to just be lucky, I feel like the rest of this map has been pretty good. If you want to do it, just skip those levels, I'd say, because I don't think they're worth your time trying to find the perfect way to land on the invisible platform. Because, yeah. So this one is probably going to be like an hour and 30 minutes, I'd say. It's probably already been like an hour, and we're only halfway done, honestly. So it might be an hour, uh, two hours. Wait. Are you telling me I just could have skipped all of this? Okay. Really? I could have skipped any part of that if I wanted to. Oh no, trap. Oh no, a trap. Oh no, a trap. Oh no. Oh no. Trap. I feel like this might be the same thing where I can just go to the end. Like, walk down below to the end. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a wall here preventing me from doing that. It's 270. Like I said earlier, oh, like, a lot of these levels, like, 95 to 98 to 99% of these levels have been really fun. But then those few with the, um, glitchy, invisible things, those weren't fun. It was just spamming the jump button over and over again, hoping that it would have you jump. And even then, you don't jump high, so... It really isn't fun that way. All the rest of these levels have been fun. Not the hardest of hard. Like, um, scissors. I've heard that scissors death runs are pretty hard, but I've never really tried one out. So I don't necessarily know if that's 100% true, but it m probably is. Because I've seen some YouTubers try some. I don't really remember, but I'm pretty sure that it looked hard. Actually, that'd probably be a good idea, too. If you guys want to see me do um, a scissors death run. I'd probably start, start out with scissors one, because it'd probably be easiest, and I want to, like, know what I'd be getting into. I don't want to start instantly with, like, scissors four, I think it is, because I'm pretty sure that's the latest one there is. Okay, that did scare me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. There we go. And jump lag. I think it's called creative jump lag. Where you jump and then it doesn't make you jump a lot. jump lag <laughs> so the good thing about creative jump lag that's different than um oh I pressed jump but it didn't work is that you can tell if there actually was creative jump lag because no matter what like you can hear me quickly press this 
I do that high jump. And if I hold it, I do the same high jump. Ooh, nice. But, ooh, 300. Oh my gosh, it's a soccer field. Or a football field, sorry. I mean, technically it can be both. More ways than one. For one way, because you can just put up nets for soccer and then take them away for football. And for number two, some places call soccer football and some places call football soccer, vice versa. Stuff like that. Like, I'm pretty sure football is our soccer and then there's american football which is our football so yeah it is it's kind of confusing i'm only gonna try and jump up onto the red thing but yeah you can do it in fact, you can just do that. <gasps> the free world. The world of freedom. I miss it. <laughs> My captor took away all of my free will. <laughs> I don't really have a captor. <laughs> It'd be weird if I did. Probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos. I'm gonna just do that. Boom! What the? Um, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is feasible. Or if you do this perfectly and hit the tires in such a way that it hits you backwards and high enough so that you have enough time to land your shot on the wall, I think you might be able to cheese this death run. Oh, like, like, you could probably see what I was talking about right there. Ugh. I also kind of want to try and get on top of the wall. Or that. That's most likely what they intended, but that was honestly pretty fun. That's easily cheesable by just going off to this side. In fact, you don't even need to do any of this because there's no death barriers. But I'm doing it the right way. Like this, I'm pretty sure they intended to make it impossible to cheat. And they did do a pretty good job at that. But they, something they might not know is that you can do this. And I'm pretty sure the way it bounces you is high enough to get you over that and onto it. So I'm gonna get on top of the railing and then I'm gonna just jump down because I don't really want to cheat. I just want to try it out because I... Every death and I try to find cheats in it. I think I already said that. Oh, something about that though. Is it the ice? maintains its sliding properties for a little while after you're off. Oh, but you can you can definitely see what I'm going for. If somebody's better at doing that than me, they can easily do that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep on going the normal way. Yeah, 
to a normal player who doesn't know about stuff like that, they would probably think it's unchoosable to do this section. This, they would probably think that this section right here is unchoosable, that's what I was trying to say. <gasps> nope! Boing! One way to make it unchoosable is to make it so that you only have one health. Cause that way... That nope. Can you do that? Nope. Can you do this? Probably. Nope. Respawn. What was that? <laughs> that was weird. This video is probably only going to be as long as it is because I tried to find out what the secret thing was in the lobby, or the creative lobby, or hub, sorry. <laughs> a lot of names you could give it. Like somewhere along here. Well, definitely right here. You can jump over the 340, land on that corner, and then jump over. I'm not gonna do it, but you can. Because it's only a one block jump. Probably take me a few attempts, but you can still do it. But then again, it'd probably take longer than doing it the normal way. I don't know why those traps are there. We're in a castle. Guys. I can skip. 30 levels. I think you can. Just do this. And then hug the wall. If you're really good at it. You might be able to cheat it. I'm gonna try three times to do this guys. Just because it seems like. Such an interesting thing to do. And I'm pretty sure you can jump a tiny bit further than one block, so, or one, um, square of distance. Actually, yeah, I don't think it's possible. But if you could, that would be, like, so unfortunate for the map creator. Especially, because I think right ahead... There's the same thing I was talking about earlier. So, I'm gonna keep the little bug open again. Because, okay, never mind. I thought for a moment I saw a way you could cheat. If I see a way I can cheat, guys, I'm going to try it. Why did I do that? That was so stupid of me. Wait, I can tell. Oh my gosh! Wait, if you look at the map, it hasn't even rendered in stuff anymore, so it's just a bunch of checkpoints. Yes, if I see something like that, I'm gonna try and cheese it. Like the food. It's just a bunch of normal- oh my gosh, guys. 354, 372. Hmm. You know, because I want to keep this video short, so I think I'm gonna cheese it. Because you guys know that it's honestly pretty easy to cheese right here. And the levels don't look too different than what we've already done. You know, guys, I think I'm gonna cheese it, but if you want to see me do this part legitimately, if you... If you say that in the comments that you want to see me do this part legitimately, I'll work my way back up to here and do it. From 354 up to 372. But for now, I'm gonna just choose it, because I'm trying to keep- Actually, you know what? No, I'm changing my mind over and over again. I'm doing it legitimately, I'm not cheesing anything. <laughs> Even though cheese can be pretty good. 
in the real world and in video games. I'm not cheesing. They probably knew. I feel like the map creator, if they have gone through this and played through it all, they would, um, they probably kept that there so that they might be able to do it easier. I don't know. I'd probably make a small little way to make it easier in a death run if I, if I made like a really hard one. And this one isn't necessarily hard, but it's long and you want to shave off the most time that you can. Now honestly, you could probably just cheat the entire death run and skip all the way to the end by the beginning because there's probably a way back there to um just like climb up onto the walls and walk around this whole thing. But, I don't know how to do that, so... Yeah. What time is it? Okay. Yeah, it's been a decently long amount of time. I've never spent this long on a death run. Except my own, because I've honestly spent quite a bit of time built building that. But haven't made much progress. You know what? I'm gonna show that I can cheese it. There you go. And back. See, I cheesed it and I didn't cheese it at the same time. <laughs> now I've appeased both fans, hopefully. Both types of fans, hopefully. And that was annoying. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I started this at 4.30, so I'm pretty sure this has been going on for an hour and a half. But only around an hour of this has been spent on the death run itself, I'd say. I'm gonna take that out. That was probably stupid of me, and I'm probably gonna fail really soon. Something that's interesting is that you can skip a lot of these checkpoints. Meaning that if you're going for a speedrun, this actually could be pretty interesting. Because you could skip a lot of these checkpoints, which adds to the risk, but if you're speedrunning, it adds to reward. Like, you could just go from here to here in a speedrun, skipping that, but if you died in the speedrun, then you would be set back further. Yeah, we're almost four-fifths of the way done. We only have ten more levels to go until we reach that point. Okay. I'm trying to spot like a sort of cheese. Doesn't matter which type. It could be like cheddar, string, stuff like that. But as long as there's cheese, I'm interested. <laughs> Four hundred, there we go. Four fifths of the way. I honestly wasn't expecting it to take this long, I'm gonna be honest. like a timer telling you how long you've spent on it. Actually, have I really been doing this for an hour and 30 minutes? Because it only says 240 on the thing. So I honestly don't think I've been doing it for an hour and 30 minutes, but I might be wrong, guys. But yeah, I'm doing this fast enough so that I don't think I'm really going to have to cut anything out. Now, this video probably isn't going to get a lot of viewers, because I know... Not many people are probably going to be wanting to watch something like this. But 
But if you are coming here and you are enjoying this, then thanks for watching. And I hope I can make more videos of death runs for you guys. Cause these are fun. Like, my favorite games are relaxing games, like Minecraft, when you're not, like, mining. <laughs> for those of you who watched the Minecraft video for today, you probably will know why I'm saying that. But by the time this is out, it might not even be, you might not even have been able to watch it far enough to know why I'm t saying that. Because I don't think this will take two hours to load. <laughs> Did they take away the bouncy properties? No, wait. They they did it, guys. They've done it. They've made it possible to cheese. Oh, wait, no, they've added an invisible barrier right there. I think. They've made I think they might have added something that makes it impossible to get up there. For a moment I thought it was possible. It is possible! It's just like a really precise jump. My goal is to cheese stuff, cover stuff in cheese. Don't know why I said it like that. I'm not gonna do it. We're almost done, guys. Hopefully I haven't been giving you too, like, bored. <laughs> but then again, watching a guy beat a 500 level death probably isn't the most exciting thing to do. Especially when you watch all 500 levels and not just, like, um, 100 or 200 of them with a bunch of them cut out. Yeah, this is a 500 death level death run, so I'm showing all 500 levels. Also, I'm trying to figure out how to do death runs in Minecraft. Or not death runs necessarily, but like, death runs in this sense. Like, I saw this spiral thing that I used to watch a lot, and I thought it looked really fun. But I don't know how to do maps like that. Parkour maps, that's what they're called, normally. Yeah, this, is, this really isn't too bad. I stay as I die. And by die, I mean poof. Would be like weird if instead of saying 472, you said 472s, aka 72, 72, 72, 72. So every hundred interval, you would just repeat the number twice. What the? I'm pretty sure that was ping, yeah. I think I was at like 90 ping right there, which was enough to kill me. I thought I might be able to do something with it. I feel like that Durberger might be able to be used to skip a few levels. 
Actually, no, I think it's perfectly in the middle so that it can't be used to skip some levels. Yeah, only 25 levels remaining, guys. Hopefully this hasn't been too bad of a video for you guys. I don't know why I did that. So I don't know why these destroyable but non-destroyable Der Burger and Tomato Heads are here. Yeah, okay. These are the last levels. Normally you would make these levels the hardest. So let's see if these are the hardest levels out of the bunch. been a pretty good map there are a few things I could say about it like it's slightly annoying about not having the thing where you die instantly because it just like means you have to spend a little bit more time manually dying but overall besides that and those like two or three levels where you were only like, where you were only able to do it either by cheesing the thing, or by pure luck. Besides those levels, and the death, manual death concept, I think this has been a really good death run. Okay. Only like, four more levels, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm on 4 496. Nope, 497. So there's this one, 48, 98, 99, and then the level 500. So four more levels still. And I'm probably not gonna be. Imagine if I can't make it to level 500, or I make it there and then I and then it's like insanely hard and I can't beat it. That'd probably be like sad to watch. 499 and appreciation. I'm gonna just skip that. Five zero zero. Let's go. Really? Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, this is the real final level. I'll do a bit more. <laughs> it sends me up and it's like, this is the real final. Good job. Comment, comment how long it took on my YouTube video. Didn't have space for a super cool level. Uh, well, okay then. It took... I don't know how long. I'll probably comment after I record this video and see how long it took, guys. But that is it for today's video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I'm probably going to do the outro here instead of in the lobby because it'd probably be good. With Kit's little flappy ear. But yeah, besides that, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully there should be a new video coming out tomorrow. That's gonna that's hopefully gonna be really good as well. Besides that, really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed that, please make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell beside it so that you never miss any of my videos. I've been hitting this guy's map over and over again. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, besides that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Um Again, go subscribe to Dan Tier Fox for making this really cool map. If you if you want to subscribe to him, but I would say he deserves it because I because he's done a two thousand level death on five hundred and two hundred levels underwater. It seems that seems pretty cool. But yeah, besides that, I really do hope you enjoyed. And, if I can just find the thingy, because it always takes me like five years to find this. Peace.